A Pasco County fire station shuts down. Bed bugs taking over station 13 in Zephyr Hills, forcing firefighters right out the door. Our Edward Lawrence is digging into how crews are adjusting and whether response times could take a hit. Edward? You know, one of three fire trucks from Station 13 will respond from right here. It's nearby Station 26. Just take a look. That's Engine 13 in the corner there. They made room for it here. The county officials say that another truck is at a local motel and response time should not be impacted. Pasco County Fire Station 13 stands as one of the oldest in the county. The building has been through a lot, but this is the first time bed bugs invaded. Firefighters here tell me they weathered hurricanes, tornadoes, even a lightning strike, none of which forced them out. Now the station captain is overseeing the evacuation because of bed bugs, first reported May 14th. Vicky Romero's family lives in a house that backs up to Station 13. If you know somebody in the neighborhood has them, you have to watch out. Romero has experience with these critters. Her daughter lived in a home that became infested. She knows how hard bed bugs are to get rid of. You feel something biting, and you go like this, and you look around and you don't see it. But as soon as you stay still again, they come back and bite. All the mattresses at the fire station have been stacked on their side. A sign on the living quarters door warns of bed bugs. Most everything cloth was thrown out, including old chairs. Firefighters would not go on camera, pointing us to Pasco County spokesman Doug Tobin. He says the county hired an exterminator that used chemicals last week. The bugs returned. Another exterminator will try another tactic, heating the building to 130 degrees all day Tuesday. How long will this be closed? That's the question. Uh, when the, we're able to successfully eradicate the bed bugs, then I think we'll be able to reopen Fire Station 13. And the Pasco County spokesman says that firefighters are being careful not to take anything to other stations or home that might contain bed bugs. They don't want another outbreak. Reporting live in Pasco County, Edward Lawrence, ABC Action News. Edward, thank